you clicked on this video because you want to know what type of man a good woman wants. So many young men in our day and age are just struggling with finding a good partner. Not going to lie, it's really hard out there. The values that we've been taught earlier when all this modern stuff wasn't happening. And this is a fun fact. In my country, in the Netherlands, maybe 20 or 30 years ago, it was normal to be a Christian. It was normal to walk with your husband. Right now, they are scared to get married because of all the modern day stuff that's happening. And now that lust has taken over the world, men are even getting soft. They're getting so soft and undisciplined. All they can do is be on their phones. And it's, and to be honest, it's really sad because we used to have very strong leading men. And it wasn't all about money. It was about leading. It was ab about being a good husband, providing for your family, doesn't matter if you were, if you had a business or if you were, were a carpenter. You were going to work and your wife is at home waiting for you and she's going to be so happy when you're back. But we don't see this stuff nowadays. Only the really 1% healthy relationships. But let me tell you, there is still good women out there. Don't be discouraged. But there's one thing and that is you won't get them easily. Because those good women they have high standards and I'm glad they have high standards and so that they may keep their virginity for the only one, the husband, that they are going to fall in love with and marry and get kids like a Christian household. The type of man that a woman wants, a good woman, not a weird lustful woman, I'm talking about the Christian housewife, a good wife for the children. This woman, first of all, most important, wants you to lead her spiritually. You got to be that strong husband that is looking to the Lord and following the Lord's commandments so you can lead her as well. So you can be a good father to the kids so that you may have a good household, a biblical household. That's what a woman wants. She wants to be able to relax and you have control over the situation. Your leadership, she can trust you. She can be submissive to you when you are leading, when you are the leader, the man of the household, the head of the body. It's not only about financial stuff, it's trust and safety. She can open up to you. But please, don't be a simp. This will cause her to lose interest. And why is she losing interest? Because if you put her on a pedestal, if she's above God, she doesn't want that type of man that puts a woman above God. Isn't that, that's common sense, bro. You should not simp for a woman. You should simp for God. And don't give your whole heart to a woman in the, in the beginning stages. Come on, man. Give your whole heart to God because he is going to protect that heart for you and he's going to fill it with joy. You're going to get 100% return from God. Just give your love to God and focus on God only. And he will send you that right woman. But only if you are that Christian husband. You have to be that husband before you get married. Otherwise, there's no point. Listen what Ephesians 5 verse 25 says. This is New International Version. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. This verse emphasizes on the sacrifice that Jesus made. This verse shows how Jesus cared about the humans and exactly that we have to care about our partner too that's what a christian husband does proverbs 31 verse 11 to 12 her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value she brings him good not harm all the days of her life when you get a wife from god oh man you're going to be very confident in her because you know that her self-esteem is so high on point because she knows her identity in Christ and nothing can break her, no word can put her down. And you're having that confidence in her. You're showing that by giving her love, by praising what she does. Is she cooking for you? Man, show that appreciation, show that love. 1 Peter 3 verse 7 
husbands in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as hers with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers man this is what i'm dreaming of my ideal partner would be a very soft woman a submissive woman a woman that loves god above everything even more than me oh yeah please love god more than me a woman that wants to get married a woman that wants to get children and make a, a so good family that is worshiping christ a woman that can understand me and can support me in difficult times a, a woman that i can celebrate my success with and i can celebrate her success with her a woman that i can be friends with at the same time as married like best friends for life a, wo a woman that can communicate anytime and i know women have their own type of language they will never be that direct and if they are that's very good but i can't wait for the day i meet her and the day i meet her i will show her this video i will show her and i hope she's not going to cry or something but yeah i'm just going to show her this video we as men got to fight the battles in life our spiritual warfare with the book the Bible, the only book that we need in our whole life, that's going to help us through every battle. Those are the basic instructions we have to live by. If we follow the Bible, then that's exactly the type of man a woman wants, a good woman. Guys, take good care of yourselves. If you're going to church, if you're going to another place, just take care of yourself. Put some perfume on. Man, I can smell that sweat from 10 meters away. Come on, dude. Some perfume, some deodorant. And just keep your teeth clean and do your hair. Do all those things. It's a good bonus, you know. You're going to feel more confident if you, if you walk around being prepared than if you're not being prepared, to be honest. So that's some bonus tip I gave you. But the most important thing was follow God. Be a leader, a spiritual leader. And then everything will be okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!